As this whole animation is based on this stroke effect, which is always walking through the frame and doing his stuff, I'm going to show you how to use the stroke effect, how to customize it, how to make it look like a cable and how to handle with masks, passes and the stroke effect in general. So you can directly see in the composition that you have all those strokes layers here and you see that they are basically just masks which are drawn and the white line is following those masks. So this time I'm not going to show you this effect inside of this already made composition but I want to show you how to build this effect from scratch. So let's create a new composition and call this one cable stroke and hit OK. Now we're going to create a new layer, layer, new, solid and make this one white just that we have a background and we can directly call this by clicking on it and hitting the return button BG for background. And by the way you can also create a new solid by hitting Control Y and now I'm going to do that. Maybe we make this one blue and call it cable or oh, let's just make it black because we're going to call it cable black and we're just doing this because later on we're also going to create a cable white layer and now what we have to do is we have to draw a mask in the same way we want our cable to be later on and just have in mind you wouldn't have to do this in your digital choose composition because all those masks are already created for you see all those strokes layers if I hit the M button for mask you can see that there are already masks created everywhere and the camera and the whole animation is based around those masks so I really just show you this one in a new composition that we can focus a bit more on this one so let's just quickly create a mask and I want my cable to have many curves so that you can see it a bit better and it should maybe end right here. Now we go back to our selection tool or we just hit the V button and there we have it. Now let's apply the stroke effect to it. We go just to the effects and presets window and write stroke. And there we have it. We either could bring it out here now or directly on our cable black layer. Okay, what can we do here? By default you can now not see that much because our brush size is just 2. And this is about the same size like the mask itself has. So if we hide the mask with this button here and go to full resolution now you can see this stroke but as we have said we want to make a cable in black so let's click on the colors button and make it black and now we can't see anything because our cable is on this black solid so for the paint style we just click on transparent and now we just have this line and nothing else on the layer but we want our cable to be way way thicker so let's type in 20 here and there we have our cable and that's already everything we have to do for our black cable layer so we now can just duplicate it by hitting command D and call this one cable white. And as we want this to be white, by the way we don't want to make a white cable but all the white stuff in the cable is somehow the light reflection and that it looks a bit more three-dimensional. 
So let's just make this cable white. We click on the color and make it white. And now you could play a bit with it. You could make it thicker or thinner and already start creating nice and interesting looks. But for that we just leave it at the exact same size and just make it white. And we are going to apply some other effects to it now. First we start with a simple choker. And we bring it out here. And the simple choker just makes it thinner. So you could also do this with the stroke effect, but I just want to show you a few more effects which you may want to use in the future. Okay, now we have this black cable and this white cable. It's already starting looking better, but really not like a realistic cable. And now we bring out an effect called matte feather. This effect is designed to feather the alpha channel. And as you can see here, this is exactly what it does. Go about 22 and it's all already looking a bit more three-dimensional. But let me tell you something, the matte feather effect isn't something that is built in into After Effects and it comes with the key correct collection. So another way to achieve this one could be with the channel blur. So we take the channel blur and as we have created this stroke effect on transparent, we now have the ability to feather the edge between the white and the transparent and so to say the alpha blurriness. So let's bring this out about 10. Now we can play in combination with this channel blur and the joker to get the look we want. Let's bring this up to 32 and the channel blur to 16. And maybe we choke this even more like so. And now it really looks three-dimensional. Another thing which we can do now is that we go on the cable white and simply reposition it. So let's bring it up a few pixels and to the right a few pixels and now we have this three-dimensional look we wanted. We can now take the bevel alpha effect and if we now play with the light intensity and the edge thickness, you can see that it somehow gets more of a light direction because the fading is way smaller over here than to the other side. But of course, this is really, really just a very small detail to the overall look. And there we have our cable ready to go. But of course we would have to animate all of this. And this is in the final composition already. Also done for you and it's done with the stroke effect. But let me quickly show you a few tips about the stroke effect. For that I hide the cable white, just go to the cable black and there you have it. You have a starting point and an end point. And the end point is of course at the end of our mask and the start point is the start of our mask. So what we could do is simply animate the endpoint and let's just go forward about 100 frames and click on the stopwatch for the endpoint and at the beginning we just type in zero and there we have it now. Our cable is created like in the final composition. And what you could do now to animate all of this in the right way and in combination with the cable white, you could just open up both of them, go into the stroke effect, hold down the Alt key and click on the stopwatch of the end for the cable white. And as you want this to always have the same values, 
we can go down here to the cable black and take this pick whip onto the end parameter. If you just let go, we get a nice expression which tells us that we now have always the same values like the cable black. If we bring this together again and take a look at it, you can now see that both of the lines are animated in the same way. And this is exactly what we wanted. And now let's just bring out the plug for our cable. You can just go to the project window and double click in it. And there I have it in my toxic templates folder. In the pictures folder I have a picture of a plug. And I just bring this one into a new composition by holding down the left mouse key and just drag it over this new composition icon. And I quickly mask this one out. There we have just our plug and now I just wanted to position it right. For some help you can use the shortcut Control R to get a ruler. And if you go into here with your mouse and just drag and drop, you get those blue rulers. And by hitting the W button you can rotate the plug. And with the arrow buttons you can now position everything the way you want it to be. Next thing is to always keep your compositions small so you can go onto this icon which says region of interest and you can somehow crop the whole composition with the plug. And now you can go up to composition crop comp to region of interest and now your comp size is way smaller. Okay, let's close this one. Go back into our cable strokes and bring the plug in there. So uh, we can just type in here plug and there we have it. And bring it out here. So the first thing we have to do now is to get the anchor point, which is the point around which it rotates, scales and transforms, which is normally directly in the middle, in the center, but we have to bring it down to the bottom of our plug because for a plug this is the point where it rotates. So to do that we just click on the pan behind tool. And now just bring it down here. If we now hit the W key you see that it rotates around this point. And now we can just bring it into position to get the first impression on what this looks like. It's a bit big so we just scale it down by clicking on the plug layer, hitting the S button for scale, just scale it down a bit. As you can see it doesn't stick together so you would have to manually keyframe the whole animation. I was wondering how you could automate this and how you could track the stroke effect. And I came up with two different ideas of tracking the stroke effect and I quickly show you the first one which I didn't took because it just took a bit more time than the second version. So let me just quickly show you the first idea which I had to track the stroke effect. And for that let me just quickly hide the plug and the cable white so that we just have this stroke. And of course with the After Effects tracker we can't track this beginning point to get a position out of it. But what we could track is something that is moving in that position but we don't have it. So what I did with this one I went into the cable black composition and this is a bit tricky. But let me just quickly show it to you and after that I'm going to show you a more simple way. So if we go into the stroke effect you have the start and the end point which I already told you. So the start animates from the start. 
So, what if the starting point would always be 1% behind the endpoint? Then we would have just this small dot which is moving all over the composition and we could easily track that with any tracking software or with the built-in tracking software of After Effects. So, for that we just have to use a small expression. If we now hold down the Alt button and click on the Start Stopwatch, we want this to have the same value like the End button. So we take the Pick Whip and bring it over the end. And now the Start and the End would be the same. But we always want this to be a little bit behind the End position. So what we can do now is we have it in the same position and then we just type in minus one. Now it's always minus one. And what we have now, we have this small point here. And to get even more tracking data, you could duplicate the whole layer, shrink it down a bit, give him a different color or make a, a smaller white stroke effect in the middle of it so that you have more contrast. And now really every tracking software should be able to track this one. And later on, you could just go back to your plug layer and apply this rotation and transform and position data to the plug and you're ready to go. But as I told you, it is a bit tricky to use those expressions than to go into a tracking software or to use the After Effects tracker. This all takes time. So let me just quickly reset this and I show you how you could do this way more easy by using masks and passes. We just now go into the mask of the cable black layer, which is the same mask than the cable white. And we go to the path of the mask. We click on it and go to edit, copy. And now we have copied the path. And now we want this to be the position of our plug. Just click on the plug layer, go to position, Edit, Paste. And there we have it. Exactly the same position path than our mask. We now just have to adjust all of those keyframes. So let's just go into the, until the 100 frame mark where the stroke effect ends. And if we hold down the Alt key and just drag this last keyframe to the end, all of the other keyframes go just with it. And there we have our plug animated to the stroke. Of course it doesn't show in the right direction, so let's just go to the first frame and position this one right and rotate our plug right. And now we just go to Layer, Transform, Auto-Orient and there we have the orientation of the plug according to the path and we want to orient along path. And hit OK. Quickly rotate it right. And there we have it. Our plug is following the cable and if we turn on the cable white again we have all of it set up and this is exactly how I did the animation.